Okay, let's take a look at homework 15.4, and we're going to look at numbers 11 through 16 here. Um, what they're asking us is they're going to give us a description of a particular graph, and they're going to ask us whether or not that graph is a tree. So is it a tree? One would be yes, the graph is definitely a tree. Two would be no, the graph is definitely not a tree. And three would be maybe. It could be a tree, it could not be a tree. It's hard to tell from the description, it could go either way. So in order to accomplish this, what you really have to be able to do is visualize these graphs. And that might not be the easiest thing to do without trying to draw, practice, figure out exactly what they mean um, when they're describing these graphs. So for number 11, number 11, it says the graph has five vertices and there is exactly one path from any vertex to any other vertex. Now the only way for a graph like that to exist, and this takes some playing around, try and draw a graph with five vertices. And I think the, your initial instinct might be to draw something that looks like this. Okay, so those are some vertices and we need to draw in some edges. Okay, well, let's see. We're going to experiment here. I'm going to eh, oh, draw this. So this says that there's exactly one path from any vertex to any other vertex. So if I start, let me label these here, C, D, E. If I start at edge A, how many ways can I get to edge E here? Well, I can get to edge E this way, or I can get to edge E that way. So that can't be the right graph that they're describing there. So what happens if I erase this edge between A and E? That's going to leave me with something that looks like this. Let's see if we can make it a little clearer. Now, how many ways are there for me to get from A to E? Well, there's only one way. I have to follow this path here. How many ways are there for me to get from B to A? There's only one way to get from B to A. I have to go directly there. If I try to go around, since I took this edge out here, there's no other way to do it. If I drew in another edge, let's just imagine for a minute I drew in another edge, say here. Now there are two ways for me to get from B to D. I could go B to D or I could go B to C to D. So that means there are more than one way, or there is more than one way to get between two vertices on a path. So a graph with five vertices where there's exactly one path from any other vertex, from any vertex to any other vertex, is going to have to look like look like this. And we can even redraw it so it's a little less confusing. So here we go. That's A, B, C, D, E. Draw those edges. That's what this graph looks like. Okay, is it a tree? Yes, no, maybe. Um, I don't see any cycles. Do you see any cycles? No. So that's a very good sign right there that, that we're looking at a tree. The other thing that we need to check to see whether or not it's a tree is, is it connected? And it is absolutely connected. That's all one piece. So the answer for number 11 is going to be one, yes. If we have a graph that has five vertices and there's exactly one path from any vertex to any other vertex, that graph has to be a tree.